the life of a soldier training for war in the air and on the ground. Troops live in camps a few miles away from post, just like they would live in Iraq. It's training to prepare for deployment. And female soldiers go through the same training as men. Captain Hartley Kane is in charge of personnel for an aviation brigade. This is the Longbow Apache, and we have the reconnaissance and attack mission. She's also a pilot. We have so much more visibility from up in the air. One of three women pilots in her unit. Captain Kane and other troops in training couldn't comment on the policy that prohibits women from serving in direct combat. But Kane did say this training helps troops unite and look past gender. You no longer have differences, you have one unit. In this training, the Aviation Brigade is coordinating movement with a ground maneuver force. Men and women working together with high-powered weapons and heavy equipment. In Kane's eyes, it's a job everyone is trained to do and to do well. As for my soldiering duties, um, you know, they're the same man or woman. Another job these soldiers here at Fort Hood are training for involves refueling aircraft. It's a job both men and women train for. Yes, it is dangerous. Staff Sergeant Minya Liddell helps keep the Army birds flying. We would drive up the vehicle right here. This mother of four refuels aircraft. She knows the risks, but says just like with any job, training makes you good at what you do, not gender. You, if you take all the safety precautions that you're supposed to, th there's no, no danger whatsoever. When it comes to women on the front lines, soldiers and other Central Texans have different opinions about whether that standard should change. Some say women would be distractions, Others fear the return of the draft, and some say women are already on the front lines in Iraq. Anybody that's over there, I would consider in the front line. Every once in a while, we need to reevaluate situations as times change, so it's probably a good point to do that, to look at it again. You know, women know the sacrifice that they're making when they go on to the front lines, and they know the choices that they're making, and if they want to make that sacrifice, then they should be able to. Operation Iraqi Freedom has claimed the lives of 35 female army soldiers so far. That is one reason why some troops say the policy is in place. A lot of people, they can handle men dying in war, because it's been that way for generations, but it's harder to see our women die people aren't ready for that. If they can do our job, then let them do it. But if they can't hold up to that, then I don't think they should. When you go to war, nobody wants to see a girl or your wife die. A lot of women, you know, if they feel they're up to the task and they can complete the task, let them go for it. For these female soldiers, the focus is now Iraq. Whether you call it the front lines or not, it's a dangerous job. Pretty much we're all warriors, regardless of whether we're male and females, and we're all instilled with the warrior ethos. and. Um, we're trained to take on whatever mission we're given. It's a job that takes men and women away from their families and puts them in harm's way. Melissa McGuire, KVU News.